rights. In fact, hearing the cases of violence in Manipur, the Supreme Court today appointed an all-women three-judge panel to oversee the investigation. The top focus of the three-judge panel will be to ensure a prompt investigation in the cases, relief and rehabilitation for the survivors. Making the announcement, Chief Justice of India, D. V. Chandrachud, said that the apex court's top priority will be to restore law and order in the state. About 12 cases of crimes against women have been handed to the CBI. The team probing these 12 cases will comprise of five officers of the deputy SP rank who will be brought in from different states. Former Maharashtra DGP and decorated IPS officer Dattatrai Patskilkar will head the CBI probe. Meanwhile, all other cases that have not been transferred to the CBI will be probed by a total of 42 special investigative teams. These teams will be headed by officers not below the rank of SP. Now, to top all of this up, the court says the investigation will be monitored weekly by the DIG and once every two weeks by the DGP. Um, Harish, coming back to you as far as this uh, significant development is concerned, what are the key takeaways we should know as far as the investigation is concerned? Yes, uh, very significant orders being uh, been issued by the uh, Supreme Court as far as the Manipur violence is concerned. Uh, and, the, and the Chief Justice Diva Chandrachud uh, led Ben said that our effort will be to instill a sense of law and order. Remember, on August 1, while summoning the uh, Manipur DGP, uh, the uh, Rajiv Singh, the Supreme Court had uh, pulled up this Manipur and uh, central government saying that there is no... Uh, law and order in the there was no law and order in, in the um, state of Manipur. The entire missionary had failed, and uh, even the, there was a constitutional missionary had failed, and therefore the Supreme Court is intervening. And today it uh, very significantly it appointed uh, former uh, Maharashtra Maharashtra Commission of Police and uh, DGP Dattatre Patsalgikar uh, to monitor the entire. Uh, framework of uh, the pro net of probe the Supreme Court has uh, initiated. Uh, the Supreme Court uh, uh, took, uh, took into consideration that there are 3,567 FARs registered and out of it only 12 to 16 are uh, FARs pertaining to crime against women of sexual assault and rape. That in a very significant decision Supreme Court has allowed the CBI to probe and rest uh, and even for that that is what is important is that the supreme court said uh, to instill a free and fair probe and also to instill the confidence of the people uh, in, in the caught in the conflict between cookies and methis the dvsp rank officials should be uh, deputed by the cbi from outside the state not uh, they should not belong to manipur and they should probe the case uh, the crime against women and uh, uh, children and uh, to uh, as far as the humanitarian aspects are concerned like uh, uh, relief and rehabilitation payment of compensation confidence building measures uh, the supreme court has formed a judicial panel comprising of three women ex high court judges they are justices geeta mittal shalini joshi and asha menon and as far as the other uh, uh, other uh, crimes are concerned like murder uh, arson grievous hurt uh, damage to public property and the places of worship the, uh, the supreme court has very significantly constituted 42 SITs and they will be headed by an officer not below the rank of SP and there will be seven DIG level officers who will head six SITs each. So this is the uh, framework uh, decided by the Supreme Court as far as the probe is concerned and uh, the very Supreme Court very clearly said that we have to bring back a sense of law and order in the state and it has to be done at the earliest and uh, as I said earlier last time there was several questions opposed to the Manipur government and uh, the uh, and the central government as far as delay in lodging of FIRs are concerned from the date of occurrence to the lodging of FIR there was a lot of delay even more than one and a half months and also Supreme Court questioned the delay in recording the statement of witnesses arresting the accused uh, recording of statement of witnesses uh, and uh, victims before the magistrate and also um, questioned there was also reports that the, the two women uh, seen in the viral video who were paraded naked after sexual assault they were thrown to the mob by the police and whether action had been taken against the uh, against uh, the policeman and why there was a, a delay in a, for, uh, of around 14 days in registration of FIR in that matter. And regarding another case where a woman and her husband and her son was lynched after being dragged out of car, it, was the, it, it occurred on May 7th and the FIR was registered on July 23rd. So Supreme Court pointed out several instances where there was a lot of gap, lot of lapse of time from the date of occurrence and registration of FIR. So 
to uh, to bring us bring a solution supreme court allowed the plea by the manipur government and central government to transfer the uh, crimes against women harish i'd have to interject you over there but thank you very much for joining us on both those developments from the top court but for the moment we leave it at that and we shift our focus